Don't scream. I really don't want to do this. I don't want to hurt you. What do you want? I need to take you home, Snow. Do you know me? Who are you? I'm a hunter, private eye. Your mother's worried sick, you know. <sighs> Jesus, it's freezing. Can't imagine how you stayed out here all the time. Anyway, I can't return you till tomorrow. How about we grab a bite to eat or something before we leave? Well, come on. you managed to fail all your classes? I don't know. Oh, Christ. This GPA is unacceptable for Princeton. What would your father say if he knew what a screw-up you were? I don't know. Why don't we ask him? No. You can't say things like that. Do you know how much therapy I needed? Just like you loved him. You were in it just for the money. How dare you! Well, it's true. You never cared about him or me. You're just a gold digger. Go to your room. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my real mom. Yeah. Oh, your real mom died all those years ago. I'm all that you got. I'd rather have her than you. I'd rather have anyone except you. How dare you! Why don't you talk to me? I did just buy you dinner. Fine. What do you want to talk about? You know, before you send me back? I'm sorry, but your mom's very worried. She paid a lot. Sure, or she just wants to give me home as quick as possible and pretend nothing happened. That I don't know. All I want to know is, why did you run? You just wanted to know that? Yeah. Why'd you run? Because my stepmom is the craziest person on this planet. How so? She seemed, uh, fine? She's not fine. So, I just heard that you weren't accepted into the Continental Achievers program either. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what this means? Do you know what everyone's going to think when my daughter didn't make it in? I don't care what anyone else thinks about you. I'm not your daughter. Don't care about me. Well, I'm all that you got. Without my money, you'd be nowhere. It's not your money, it's Dad. I shut up, you. Is Dad another one of your make money bag jerk boyfriends? Over. Hey, sweetie. Not good, actually. I'm so worried for Snow. I think she's rebelling against me or something, or I don't know. She hasn't been quite right in the head, you know, since George's death. Yeah, I'm on my way. So what's the point? What? I mean, you can't run forever, right? Where are you going? You know, when I was a kid, my dad used to tell me the story sometimes about the Blue Fairy. It's one of the only things I really remember about him. And I don't know, I've been thinking about that story over and over again in the woods. I'm going somewhere, I just don't know where yet. Somewhere far away from my stepmom. Somewhere where maybe this Blue Fairy grants my wish. I guess, somewhere where I'm happy. Oh. Please, I can't. Don't make me go back. I have to take you back. I'm sorry. Where do you think you're going? Ma'am? Mrs. Queen? This is my daily check-in. My payment? Good. <laughs> okay, well, I spoke to the local police officers, and they saw her a couple of days ago. Go! Come on, go! Well, anyways, I think she left a couple of days ago. She's way ahead of me at this rate. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, no. I'll keep looking for her, but I think we should call it off. We may not find her.
maybe we let her go, you know? Sometimes we just can't stay put where we are. Sometimes we gotta let people figure things out by themselves. Things that they can't realize if they stayed. Anyways, I can't catch her at any rate. Not right now, anyways. I think she's running too fast. She's running away. As fast as she can. I can't lose my daughter. She's just so... Remember, I'm paying you a lot of money, so... Please call if you find anything. as fast as she can.